Hi everyone, today I wanted to review what Mary aneurysms are or sacular aneurysms and what are the most common locations. This is a question you're going to be asked over and over and over again. So it's better to get it out of the way and know it really, really well so you don't forget. I have a pretty easy mnemonic for you guys. So let's start by saying that sacular aneurysms are a type of aneurysm that appear to happen more often in the intracranial vasculature. You can actually have it, this type of aneurysm, anywhere in the body, but it's more common to have them in the intracranial vasculature. Abdominal aortic aneurysms, which is another common type of aneurysm, is not really a sacular aneurysm. So this name sacular aneurysm implies it's like a little sac and it has a neck, and that's going to have important connotations in terms of the physiology of this aneurysm and how we can treat this type of aneurysm. So moving on to the intracranial vasculature, we have a diagram here, and we're going to use the mnemonic AIM for the Berry aneurysm. And what do I mean by this? So A for the anterior communicating artery, so this one right here. So aneurysms arising from this area are actually going to be the most common type of berry aneurysm. Uh, next type will be the ones arising from the internal carotid itself. So we have here the posterior communicating artery. You're kind of seeing head on or, or from above will be the internal carotid. And you see here you have a sac stemming posterior from the internal carotid slash posterior communicating artery, which is this one, that bifurcation there. It's also important to notice that some people might not have a very well-developed posterior communicating artery. There are types of things that we're going to see in cerebral angiograms that are known as infundibulum, which are normal. So, you know, this anatomy here, we have to be aware of the variance and, and the possibility that an aneurysm might be here since the second most common type and that's where the I from the aim comes from. So we have anterior communicating artery, then we have the internal carotid artery, and we have an M. So what does the M stand for? So it's a medial cerebral artery bifurcation. Specifically is going to be where the M2 segment starts. And M2 segments we're going to have a superior and inferior branch. Some MCA bifurcations can be variable and they can have more than two branches. They can actually have three branches. But in this M2 or, or this bifurcation of the MCA is the third type uh, of more frequent uh, aneurysm incidence. So we have covered three very important sites. And then the B is going to be for basilar. Okay, so basilar tip aneurysms. And this is the ones we see here. So just to review the anatomy, we have the vertebral arteries, left and right. We have basilar artery, and this is the tip, basilar tip aneurysm that happens in this region. So that will be the last one for our mnemonic. So we have described all four sites of common locations for berry aneurysm formation.